Welcome to Loosening Captives channel, where we discuss everything having to do with deliverance and inner healing. Today's topic is how to break fornication's evil effects from your life. God the Father presided over the first wedding ceremony when he presented Eve to Adam. At that moment, Adam exclaimed, she is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. See Genesis 2.23. Thereby, he described the holy union of matrimony that would follow the physical act. Marriage is not just a legal document or act, but rather it's honorable and sacred before God, as described in Hebrews 13, 4. It also serves to maintain order and accountability in society. As society, particularly in the Christian Western world, has increasingly distanced itself from Christianity. The institution of marriage has rapidly deteriorated. Consequently, various forms of immorality have replaced it. The problem has become so severe that societies are now grappling with how to support children from single parent or fatherless households. As of 2023, Worldwide statistics reveal that 50% or more of children are born out of wedlock, indicating that half or more are conceived and are born under the curse of the bastard as described in Deuteronomy 23, 2. Now, God is unequivocally against the sin of fornication and adultery, by the way or engaging in sexual activities outside the bonds of marriage for obvious reasons. Such actions not only defile and harm the body of those involved leading to potential venereal diseases, but also result in the formation of ungodly soul ties, fragmentation of the spirit and soul, creating of demonic trade with the man's sperm and transference of all kinds of demons from one person to the other. Furthermore, it contributes to societal chaos and significant financial burden. You may be a born-again Christian who repented of the sin of fornication when you came to the Lord. However, you're still struggling with demonic oppression or you keep dreaming or longing for an old lover. You may be suffering from unresolved soul ties and the demons may need to be expelled from you. Now, the good news is that you can easily and quickly get deliverance from the courts of heaven. Having the legal backing of heaven and the angels to enforce the court's verdict will make a considerable difference. Now, follow these steps to achieve your deliverance from the courts of heaven. Number one, request entry into the court of mercy from God the Father. Two, repent of your sins as well as the sins of your bloodline relating to fornication or adultery. Three, if applicable, repent for conceiving a child out of wedlock, which led to the curse of the bastard upon that child. Four, ask for the blood of Christ to wash away all these sins of iniqu and iniquities of, of you and future generations. Five, Ask the Father to cleanse and sanctify the time and land where the fornication or adultery took place, to restore the land and time, and to cut the ties between the two of you and the land and the time. Now mention the name of your lovers if possible. If not, ask the Holy Spirit to remind you of their name. Six, request that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit exercise dominion over your spirit, soul, and body. Ask them to separate your soul from the person or persons with whom you committed the sin of fornication or adultery. Seven, request that the angels retrieve the soul fragment of your ex-lover that still resides within you and return it to them. Likewise, request that your soul parts which remain within your ex-lover be brought back to you in Jesus' name. Eight, request that the deliverance angels remove any demons that have been transferred to you because of the sin of fornication or adultery. Nine, await the judge's verdict. 
thank the court and exit. 10, request access to the court of records to receive the verdict's paperwork. 11, access the court of angels and provide them with the verdict's paperwork for execution. 12, thank them and the exit. 13, request entry into the court of cancellations. 14, request the cancellation of all curses related to fornication or adultery and on you and your child that affected you and your child and ask the blood of Christ to remove it. 15, request the cancellation of the curse of the bastard from your child. 16, await the verdict, thank the court and exit. 17, access the court of restitution. 18, request that all blessings lost because of these sins and curses be restored to you and your bloodline in the name of Jesus. 19, await the verdict, thank the court and exit. Now I will place the this list underneath the video. Now, if you want more detailed information about the courts of heaven, visit loosening and also on this website you can you have the option to schedule an advocacy session with us during which we can address any accusations false verdicts witchcraft um, demonic oppression sickness and we will do that from the courts of heaven now if you're watching this video but you are not saved the Lord Jesus Christ is not your Lord and Savior, and you would like to receive him now as your Lord and Savior, say this prayer out loud in faith. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Lord, would you forgive me of my sins and wash them away with your precious blood that you shed to pay the penalty for my sin? I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died and resurrected on the third day. Come into my heart and life as my Savior and Lord. With your help, I will live for you until you call me home to heaven to be with you. Thank you, Lord. Now, if you pray that prayer, welcome to the family of God. Begin to read your Bible and ask the Lord to provide you with a good church where you can grow in the things of God. Now, thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments and your likes and for subscribing to my channel. And I will see you at our next video. Bye-bye.